The unsolved murder case of Robert Ellingwood nearly 20 years ago sparked outrage throughout Mobile. After that crime and the shooting of Emily Landers, which left her paralyzed, the city took action. Police deployed a network of cameras, which allowed for surveillance of a wide swath of downtown from a new precinct on the corner of Dolphin and Claiborne. According to police, a bank of monitors is watched 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But Fox 10 News learned that may not be accurate. Over a month, at various times of the night, I discovered two employees who appear to be asleep while assigned monitoring duties. This is video I shot from the sidewalk on Wednesday, April 8th at 11.10 p.m. The video shows an employee appear to be asleep. The camera monitors are on the right side of the screen, but the employee is laid back in a resting position. That's not the only video of employees seemingly asleep. On April 16th at 12.58 a.m., a minute-long video shows an employee with their eyes apparently closed. And on April 22nd, a Friday night at 11.42 p.m., the cameras went unwatched for more than seven minutes. We first took our video to Mobile Police Chief James Barber and requested an on-camera interview. Barber directed us to contact the Public Information Office. When we did, we were told the chief was unavailable for an interview. Instead, we spoke with Major Curly Rogers, who leads the Special Operations Unit, which is responsible for the camera system monitoring. Rogers says an investigation has been launched. If I'm in the position whereby I'm investigating a person for sleep, I want to be close to that person. I want to hear the phone ringing where there is no action or anything to do that. I want to have a witness. But the employees in the video who are seemingly asleep while monitoring the cameras are working alone. The perfect scenario is to have two people per shift. On at least one shift, we have only one, and we're trying to fill that position. Our investigation also revealed multiple instances where the monitoring council was left unattended for various periods of time. Normally, what, and we encourage what the supervisors to do, when you only have one person assigned a shift, we simply ask that supervisor to get one of his officers off the street to come in and monitor that during that time that that person needs a break. And has that happened? Yes, yes, of course. Several officers, in fact, they voluntarily come in to do it when a person needs a break. You can judge for yourself. The video and pictures seem to suggest otherwise. Employees work 12-hour shifts, which the major says is a grueling task. We have uh, very enthusiastic officers in central events. It's a very trying job. They do the best they can. And uh, any time a uh, situation can be brought to our attention that we can make it better, we're going to do that. We're obligated to do that. Let's just show somebody sleeping. Yes. That's a problem. We also showed the video to Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson, whose mission statement is to make Mobile the safest city in America by 2020. It's something that should not be done. Zero tolerance for someone sleeping on the job, especially a police um, and that's supposed to be monitoring uh, security cameras. Sure. Yeah. So it's a discipline. It's a disciplinary issue. And uh, I'm sure it'll be dealt with.